everybody paper crafting with Ros here I've got a slightly different video to normal it's from a company called everyday e-deals and they um, approached me to try out some of their uh, crafts now it's primarily um, cross stitch and um, diamond painting so they gave me a budget to choose up to a certain monetary amount and um, the items arrived about um, six days ago and I just wanted to come on and show you so um, what I chose were very different items uh, I've done some I've done quite a bit of diamond painting in the past and these were different items so uh, let me just take that away so the first thing I chose was this and it's a tissue box so you take it out the box and you're uh, presented with this now all the beads and things are inside but um, you take let me find one that I can remove easily so you take the side off and this underneath is sticky and hopefully you can see that there is um, numbers and letters and things and they're different sizes. It looks like they're all circles. But they're, they're all different numbers, letters and things. And you've got small ones, big ones, which is so different to what I'm used to. And they're actually uh, gems. So this is, your, this is the top of your tissue box. And they're actually um, flat back gems rather than the... They're not the faceted ones that I can see you know the diamond ones that you normally get the, these are, are different so you'll be able to see it on um, the other two items that I chose so I thought I'd try that so I'll have a go at that so that's the tissue box I'll leave that like that the next one it's all come really well packaged all of this was in a grey uh, sealed packet and um, and then obviously the tissue box was in a box this is in a ziplock bag and this this is a notepad a little notebook a little writing book and when you peel the top off again you've got all sorts of different shapes um, different sizes, numbers, so that'll be really interesting to do. So I'm looking forward to doing that and I'll show you uh, the beads. So these are in a separate packet. So they've all got codes on number one, two, three, as, as normal, so that's how you know where you're going. But look at the different sizes so you've got these pearls you've got these gems they are faceted look at these tiny ones they're tiny and then the different shaped ones how amazing is that i'm really looking forward to uh, having a go at this and they're a little bit um what do you call it i've lost the word now but they've got like that, um, trans not translucent, but that shiny, um, oily uh, finish on them. There is a word, but it escapes me at the moment. So that's for the notepad. And then you get the, you get the little tray and the... Uh, pen and your little square of wax so that is the notepad which is 
fab and I don't think that one will take that long to do I think the tissue box might take a while so that's the notebook and then the last thing I chose were these gnome key rings so you get the keychains, you get the gnome and then these have got uh, different uh, letters and um, so and again different sizes they're the shiny gems so everything's separately packed let me find the it's here oh gosh further down well again. so these are for the gnomes I think there's five or six in a pack I thought they'd be nice for happy mail so these um, lo all look a very similar size um, they're like teardrop shape And again, they've got their codes on, so letters and numbers. And these are the gnomes. And they've got a sticky film. So we've got that one. We've got this one. We've got this one. Oh, there's five in a pack. This one and this one. And I thought while I'm on uh, camera, I will do one of these little gnomes because these are going to be really quick to do. And so as you can see, you've got your chain. So you've got your chain and your clasp in this bag. So let's have a go at one. I think this this one probably looks like it's got the least amount of gems on it because I don't want to bore you to death. So I just want to pop that out of the way. I just want to pop those in here. Get my pen out. So here we have the tray. Okay. This is the pen that you put your wax into the end so you can pick the gems up and this is the wax so we're going to do this one so we're going to start with a so let me get my glasses my glasses i've got my glasses on i can see um my scissors okay so we're starting with a so we've got a up here and some a's down here just snip a little corner off and empty some into the tray some of these do look do they look different sizes no i think it's when they're upside down they look like they're a different size so i hope you can see okay let me just okay so this is what we're going to do i just want to check that you can see that yeah so we're starting with A and they are just silver. I shall peel the backing off that and you just you just load this tip up so there's like an empty tip so you just load that up with some wax you probably can't see but there's some wax in there now and this helps you to pick the To pick the gems up so we're doing A's so let's do the flower at the top first I am an idiot 
I bet you're all shouting at me, Rose, you've not took the backing off. <laughs> I've not took the backing off. Right. That's it. Take the backing off. So this is all sticky. Well, there's the, you know, the bits where you've got to put the gems. So let's start again. So they pick up easily enough. So that's that flower. And then I've got some more A's along here. You can shuffle, shuffle them along if you've not quite got them in the right place. that bit done. Now we'll go down here. So as I say I was approached um, by every everyday e-deals. Uh, they emailed me and asked me if I would be um, happy to uh, show their products online to choose some products to show on my channel so I went and had a look to see what they got um, even though I'm called paper crafting with Roz I think most of my subscribers know that I do do other crafts but mainly on my channel it's paper crafts but when I'm sending out happy mail or if you do like pocket letters it's nice to have something to dangle from your pocket letter so I thought this would this would work great with that. So that's all the A is done. So what I've got to do now is try and get these back in the packet because obviously I've got some of the other uh, gnomes to do and I think I'll have to open it out a bit more. I'm desperate for some more scissors. Mine have gone all sticky and my scrubbing method isn't working this time, so I have had them for a long time, so I think I just need to invest in some new ones. So I'll pop that in there. Now I will need to tape that down. Um, I'll just use a bit of washi tape for now. can't see my silly tape. Otherwise, if you don't, they do... It doesn't matter how well you try and put them down flat, they do tend to tip up and then you're going to lose these. So that is um, A. So we would next do U. So where is U? Here is U. So that's a nice orange colour. So this is you. So I think what I'll do this time is actually just chop the top off. So pop a few in here. Won't need many. Just pop it to one side. Be careful. Now they've nearly all flipped over the right way so that's lovely because you want the colour showing um, upwards so that the flat bit is there and you're sticking the flat bit onto there oh, that's lovely and then we're decorating the hat I find this so therapeutic I really do um, I've actually, and I will video it, I've actually set myself up. Um, I'm doing a diamond painting picture at the moment and I've set myself up so I can sit in bed and do it. And I will come and show you that in a separate video. But uh, yeah, I, I loved the look of these gnomes. I haven't really got any gnome stuff. So... Um, 
thought, yes, let's get these. And then I can gift them to my lovely crafty friends. And when you feel that um, the pen isn't picking the gems up as easily, you just reload. <coughs> <coughs> Bless me, sorry about that. You just reload your pen with a bit more wax. Because it does, you know, because you're continually picking them up, you, you're pushing the wax down. And... Um, you're not losing it on the gem. I think it's just compacting down in the pen. That's that. That's all the U's done. So I get my packet. Like I say, these are the colours that are going to be used on all of the key rings. So, you know, when you've done one you don't want to throw them away otherwise you're not going to have the right colours when you come to do the others so I've taped that one up so next we'll do tea where's tea here's tea so here's tea Sitting in six T's, then we've got H and Y. So six T's, so that's the gnome's nose. So we have a pink nose. I think this must be a girl because H looks like um, bows in the hair. That's the nose. Aren't they cute? So cute. Okay. Can't find the end to my washi tape, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, I've missed one there. I don't think it will matter. Um, right, so Y looks like it's next. It's on the top here. We only need six of these. These are for the shoes. So they're like a, I would say probably a charcoal black or charcoal grey. Hopefully it's come out of my pen. Just tip it over, slide it in place. Last Y. So that's that. So just pop these back in the Y bag. So as you can see, I've not had to load up my uh, pen again yet. So that little bit of wax does go a long way you know you can keep using it for quite a while before you need to top it up because it's been compacted down so uh, finally we have H which looks like a nice uh, deeper pink 
So there we have H. Like I say, these are slight, slightly different to the normal uh, diamond painting pictures. These are actually what I call gems, whereas um, the diamond painting pictures are um, a different, different texture. So this one is H, so we're doing the hair bows. And we're nearly done. So that was just a nice quick project. And um, as I've said before, when I've done the notepad and I've done the tissue box, which I don't know when that will be, so I can't say, um, I will come and do another video showing you the finished products. Um, but as for this uh, collaboration, I was only required to do one video. So the, um, the time that it took for the parcel to come was oh, two, three weeks. It was nothing. I was really surprised when it got to me because I thought it was going to take a long time. Um, I'm guessing they're based in China um, I could be wrong I bet you can go on their website and see what they've got um, I didn't choose cross stitch because my eyesight is rubbish oh I've not finished yet I've got X's oh and M's I've missed those but you've all been shouting you're not finished yet Ros <laughs> um, I just can't I just can't see well enough to uh, to do the uh, cross stitch anymore, which is a shame. I do keep trying. I think my next thing to do will be to get a, a magnifying thing to work with, see if I can work with one of those. Um, it's just not, I just can't see the detail enough. Right, so I was wrong. So we need... M's. Ah, these are these are petal shaped. Oh, these are different to put on. I have to make sure I get those the right way around, don't I? Ooh. So we need a few of those. That's probably too many, Rosalind. Right, I'm going to reload my wax. Okay, so obviously the uh, it's a tear-shaped bead, so the wider part of the bead needs to be on the outside, I'm guessing. think where these letters are I think maybe I could put I will put extra into what they're saying Let's see what it looks like Maybe some of the um, M's they may need to put 
two in the space because there's quite a big gap there. So I'm going to put another one in there. So here was me thinking I'd finished and I hadn't. So um, if you don't want to watch to the end, that's fine. You can you can whiz to the end if you want, or you can say cheerio now if you like. <laughs> I just wanted to show how easy this was. And how effective they are. Um, I've never worked with beads in diamond art, diamond painting this shape before, so that is quite interesting. Getting them the right way round. And then we will have the middles of the flowers to put on when I've done this. So, um, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to um, thank you for approaching me, Everyday E-Deals. E Really pleased you approached me. I love trying uh, new things out. And um, I will put in the description the link to the products that I have bought in case anybody fancies having a go themselves. That would be fab. See what other people get. You might get something different. There was other key rings, all sorts of other key rings and other, you know, goodies. They weren't just uh, pictures. They weren't just diamond painting pictures. As I say, I chose what I chose because I thought it was so different. And I'd never seen them before. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's where my thought process came from. And everybody loves a gnome, don't they? long to go now. <laughs> if you're watching this um, and you've found my channel it's your first time um, I would love it if you would uh, hit the like button well obviously if you've liked what you see and um, consider subscribing to me that would be fab I'm not far well I'm about 30 subscribers off uh, 600 and um, so that's that is my next goal it does keep going up and down again like um, YouTube subscribers always do um, but you know you just you just go for the go with the flow. You don't get worked up about it. If you've got them, you've got them. If you've not, you've not. And um, you know, it's the um, it's the subscribers that continue to stay with you. You know, you don't have to comment on every video. You don't have to comment at all if you don't want to. But it would be nice. Um, for the likes to uh, match the number of views that would be I think that would be a goal for me to get the number of likes to match the number of views or be closer to it than it is at the moment I'm not really sure how how it all works I'm not you know I'm not really up on it at all um, but I know uh, when I've watched a video and um, I don't always comment 
that I will always hit the like button. Uh, just, you know, just to show my appreciation because it's it takes us a lot of time to put this video content up. You know, it's not just like sitting there doing this. You then have to, sometimes I edit, sometimes I don't. Um, but yeah, and then you've got to load it up and... Yeah, there's quite a lot of time involved and and then, you know, you want to be supporting the other people so you have to try and find time to, well not have to, but you do try because you want to. Um, but I'm subscribed to so many people now and um, it gets more and more difficult to keep up with everybody's videos. Sometimes I'll like pick a crafter and binge watch all their videos that I've missed and do it like that. So that's that. And now we just need X. X marks the spot. These are a little bit bigger. So I only need four of these, don't I? Four. Four. Right, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Lovely sunflowers, aren't they? Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Hope you can see it okay. Just going to double check. Yeah. So that's my gnome. From everyday's e deals or everyday's everyday e deals. As I say, I'll put in the description a link to all the products that I've uh, been lucky to have been provided with, and a link to um, or a hashtag to their site. So thank you so much everyday e-deals I really appreciate that and I love the things that I've got and as I say uh, when I've done uh, the notepad and the tissue box I will come and do another uh, video so thank you ever much very much for everyone for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon bye